No one will be able to be armed. We yes, will sir. take all yes, weapons. Sir. It was a human drama with emotions and tensions running high. Patty Connie is still trying to recover physically and emotionally. They really did a number on me. From the day police forced her from her home. It was traumatic. All of a sudden, they were banging on the front door, the side door, and the back door, and they said, let us in. Patty tried to explain. She was on dry land, she had plenty of food and water, and didn't want to abandon her dogs. But it didn't matter. If you see six or eight police that look like linebackers pushing you in a corner, you're, you're in shock. I'm saying, look at all my food. I got plenty of food. They kept pushing me back, pushing me back, and ended up like this. Then, Patty showed them a small revolver she was carefully holding in the palm of her hand. A camera crew was there to capture what unfolded next. I said, it's not even loaded. And I dropped it on the floor. You got a gun, huh? Well, they punched me in the face. Relax now. Look at my black and blue marks. Look at, look at what they did to me. They dragged me out of here. How could this happen in, in America? It doesn't sound like America at all. It's going against my constitutional rights as a citizen. And I had my Bible and I had my gun. And I knew I was safe.